Where are we going today, Chris? Well, I want to take you to your favorite place. Jim Thorpe? That's right, but I also want to take all of you along with us for a great day in Jim Thorpe. Wow, this is beautiful. We're at the Inn at Jim Thorpe on Broadway, and this gives the best view of this classic slice of Americana. It's just so gorgeous, you just want to stand here all day and drink it in, right? I know, me too. So, Chris, you're the historian, so let's give everyone a quick history of Jim Thorpe. Well, Jim Thorpe was originally titled Mock Chunk, but in 1954, the town decided to honor Jim Thorpe, who is considered the greatest athlete of the 20th century. They named the town after him. So over the past 20 years, this town has been enjoying a renaissance. There's so much to do here. So Chris, I have an idea. Well, what? Why don't we divide and conquer and we'll meet up at the end of the day? Great idea. Have All fun. right, see you later. Okay. I love shopping for things that I can't get in a mall. And Jim Thorpe has just that. Boutiques like this one, Trend and Source. This store sells unique items from local artists and fair trade organizations. Everything from home goods to stylish jewelry and pottery. You won't walk out of here empty handed. This is the world's biggest trade set and it's run by the Reading Blue Mountain at Northern and we're gonna take a look at it. This train takes you on a scenic 70 minute round trip tour of the Lehigh River and the beautiful countryside. Plus, you can bring your own bike or rent one in Jim Thorpe and get off at the end of the trail and ride back to town on an easy slope trail. It's great fun for the whole family and a new route has been added, so check it out. Jim Thorpe is rich in historic buildings that are now transformed into trendy businesses like this one, the Marion Hose Bar. This historic firehouse has been renovated into a bar that serves one-of-a-kind drinks and classic fare. Jim Thorpe is so rich in history, so much so that an 1870s period film was shot right here, the Molly Maguires. We're in the old jail. Built in 1871, it became infamous, relating to the social issues during that time. A group of coal miners called the Molly Maguires revolted against the coal companies. They were arrested and tried for their violent confrontations. Four of the group were hanged here at this jail. But one of the most intriguing artifacts cannot be easily explained, and it's right here in this cell. A Molly claimed his innocence and put his hand on this cell wall. He said as long as he was innocent, his handprint would remain here. Well, you can come here and see it for yourself. The handprint is still on the wall. So after shopping and touring the town, I'm getting really hungry. Let's go meet Chris for some food. Hey, hey. how was your day? Amazing. So we just showed you some of the things you can do in Jim Thorpe. And there's so much more. Whitewater rafting for the entire family, Lock Chunk Lake Park is a beautiful place to relax. The number nine mine takes you into a real coal mine to experience what it was like for miners digging out anthracite. Or the Asa Packer Mansion, especially if you love history like I do. Plus, we have lots of local breweries and distilleries that make top-notch beverages. And here at the Inn at Jim Thorpe, they have an incredible menu. Mm -hmm. Chris, did you know that this is one of the most haunted hotels in Pennsylvania? You mean like the jail? Uh, that's for another day. Let's, let's, let's just order. Okay. <laughs> there are virtually hundreds of these neat nooks and crannies to explore all over the Pocono Mountains. If you want more information, go to PoconoMountains.com. And as always, mm -hmm. thanks for watching PTN. We'll see you soon for another day adventure. Now let's see. What do we, uh, I like the, you know, I like the beef stew.